All right, guys, we are going to be busting out the sear and sizzle by Grill Grates on the Ninja Foodi XL Grill. See if it's all it's cracked up to be. Coming this is up. Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ and I'm so happy you're here with us today. We are gonna do a bit of a comparison, if you will, with the new sear and sizzle designed for the Ninja Foodie XL grill. I've done a video with the sear and sizzle on the original Foodie grill and I'll put a link for that one right up there so you can check it out. But Grill Greats sent me out another one. Um, I did not pay for this but I did tell them I'm gonna give them honest review on these. People always ask me, do you need this? And here's what I say. No, you don't need it, all right? The grill plate that comes with the Foodie Grill and the XL Grill, they work great, all right? No pun intended. If you want that traditional hardcore sear or those grill marks, you know, that add so much flavor, that char, that Maillard reaction, you can't go wrong using these grill grates, okay? I've had them for years on my grills outside, in my gas grill, my Weber kettle, you know, my smoker, my pellet grill. I have them for all of those, okay? So it's only natural that I partner up with grill grates and bring it on the inside with the Ninja Foodi grills. As we take a look at this sear and sizzle, we got the straight line edges, deep grooves, plenty of valleys in the grates for the airflow to go underneath and heat evenly. People ask, is it sharp? Yes, it's sharp on the edges. It's not refined, it's not edged, it's not uh, routed. You know, I don't, I don't know the correct term with it, but it is very, very cut, precision cut. So there are some sharp edges. People ask me if it's gonna scratch the pot inside the XL grill or the foodie grill. It can. I mean, if you're not careful with it, it can. Just like if you, you know, put the, the original grill plate in there, if you just slam it in there, you know, it's, it can scratch up that, you know, that pot too, okay? So it's just up to you. I'm gonna do a couple steaks, have a couple New York strips. Um, I've already seasoned them up with my Caribbe Q. This isn't necessarily a recipe video, but if you guys wanna get some of that Caribbe Q, I'll put a link down below. Not an affiliate, just a buddy of mine has a great product out there. I'm using the Honey Heat and the All Purpose. It's great flavor I find on beef, all right? The Honey Heat is more geared towards like poultry and chicken, but I've, I've put it on beef and with the AP rub, it is, you know, out of this world. I love it, all right? So give it a shot. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the sear and sizzle oiled up. We're gonna use some canola oil. We're just gonna spray canola oil all over it. Now the difference between these grill grates and then the grill grates you get on the side on your barbecue pits and your, your Weber's and your, your gas grills, whatever, those stay dirty. All right? They stay, uh, you know, fired up with the soot, you know, all the, the good stuff in there. Uh, but with these, you actually do clean. Okay, soap and water. You're gonna get a patina on these eventually, but you're gonna clean them because you do not want to let buildup get on these grill grates because it'll cause your foodie grill to smoke. And that's, you know, we don't want smoking indoor grill, right? We're gonna put these in. We're gonna do two minutes on one side, move them 180, do another two minutes. Then we're gonna flip them over, two minutes, another 180, another two minutes. By that time, these steaks should be done. Good medium rare, maybe a little medium right in there, but this is what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna see, I'm gonna bring in video from the the, the New York strips I did on the Foodie XL grill with the, gr the standard grill plate that comes along with it. We're gonna put them next to the steaks that come off the sear and sizzle. And you can be the judge for yourself, see what you think. Uh, this is one of those things. It's, it's not something you need, but if you're like me, I like toys, I like the new hotness, I want the best things, so. You know, that's why I'm giving you the opportunity to check it out for yourselves. If you guys want one, I'll have an affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anything more, but I do get a little piece of it, you know, being an affiliate. But again, I don't put anything on my channel that I'll stand behind, hence why I've done over 100 Ninja Foodie Grill videos. All right, so obviously I stand behind this stuff, okay? All right, let's get to the Ninja Foodie Grill station, otherwise known as my kitchen island. Let's get started. Shut it down, turn it on. We're in the grill setting, max. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna keep it at 10 minutes, hit start, and just let it preheat.
All right, guys, I just moved these a quarter turn. We did the temp on them, 108, 120, 117, yeah. So we're gonna do another couple minutes. I've already flipped them this way. I just happened to forget to turn on the camera. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're done. I'm gonna pull these off on the cutting board, let them rest. They're hitting about 125 each, so we're gonna let it carry over to 130. We're good to go. But I mean, you can tell we got some nice grill marks on there. Nice grill marks were looking pretty good. All right, we let these bad boys rest. They're gonna be plenty juicy. Yes, look at that color right there. Woo, still a little hot, juicy. Put that one up there. Uh, there's only so many ways you can plate up steak. All right, y'all, let's take a little, little piece of this. Give it a nice bite. So looks like medium rare to me. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys, that was really good. Nice, medium, medium rare. Couldn't have done it much better if I don't say so myself. Guys, like I said, it's up to you. You don't need one of these, but you know, hey, they're cool. I always like the goodies. Um, I've been a big fan of grill grates for, like I said, a long time. I, I use them all the time. So I'm gonna keep using them, you know, as I feel like it. Some days I will, some days I won't. Just like some days I use my grills outside, some days I don't. You know, they do what they say they're gonna do. You know, get you a, a better char, better grill mark on there. Other than that, you know, it's a choice you got to make for yourself. But these turned out amazing. I'm excited I got one of these. So, you know, I'm going to try to do some more cooks with this so you guys get a better idea of how these grill grates work on there. Uh, so if you have any questions, you know, throw them down below in the comment. You know, if you want me to get a little bit more in depth or if you, you know, want me to cook something with them, you know, just throw it in the comments. I'll be glad to get it on the list of things to do. All right. If you need to get yourself any of these things I use on my videos, whether it be the foodie grill, the knife, the cutting board, the sear and sizzle, you know, it's all down below. There's links all down below. All right. Doesn't cost you anything more, but it helps out the channel. Speaking of helping out with the channel, if you guys want to join CJ's crew for real, hit that join button down there. Get yourself a little extra perch. Your name on the credits at the end of the video. Uh, if you take a high enough tier, I'll send you one of these cooking with CJ hats, you know, behind the scenes stuff, all that good stuff. So make sure you check it out. All right. That's it for this one, boys and girls. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.